UK holidaymakers flying with airlines such as Ryanair, EasyJet, Jet2, and TUI could be hit with a new jet fuel tax that experts say could rake in a staggering £6 billion each year. The move is designed to plug the enormous £22 billion hole created by Tory policies. The Transport and Environment and UK think tank has done the maths and suggests that introducing a fair levy similar to those imposed on other sectors fuel duties could generate anywhere from £400 million to £5.9 billion annually. Their report dispels the common myth that aviation fuel is untouchable when it comes to taxation. Adding weight to this financial solution, D&D UK is calling on the Chancellor to start applying fuel duty to every flight where it's legally possible. They suggest starting this at 9p per litre next year and gradually increasing it until it matches road fuel duty by 2030. This tax increase could then be passed on to customers through ticket prices. T&D UK's policy manager, Matt Finch, said, with a £22 billion black hole staring the country in the face, the Chancellor needs to pursue any and all avenues to raise funds. The baffling lack of meaningful taxation of the aviation industry is a slap in the face of drivers, farmers and our ailing rail system, all of which have paid their fair share for decades, according to Birmingham Live. British Airways continues to lead as the UK's flagship carrier with the largest fleet, international reach, and array of destinations. However, in terms of passengers flown, EasyJet claims the crown. Mr Finch added, for the sake of the economy and the environment, it's time to end the unfair anomaly that allows the aviation sector to pollute with impunity while not paying any, fuel, tax. Echoing commitment to green objectives, Tim Alderslade, Airlines UK's chief, declared colon equals the aviation industry contributed £3.85 billion to the Exchequer last year through air passenger duty and the phasing out of UK ETS free allowances for airlines is due to raise between £1.00. 6 billion and 4.1 billion pounds between 2026 and 2033. He reiterated the industry's resolve by saying, the sector is fully committed to net zero emissions by 2050 and with the world's third largest aviation network and proud history of innovation, the UK is in prime position with government and industry working together to lead the transition to a net zero future without hurting passengers or damaging aviation status as a key UK economic enabler.